Welcome. This is Majesty Sussex Report. Thank you for spending some of your valuable time with us. I'm Antonio. In today's world, where trust in public figures is increasingly scrutinized, authenticity has emerged as a crucial quality. But what does it really mean to be authentic? Can authenticity be learned, bought, or faked? In today's episode, I delve into the essence of authenticity tracing its roots, examining how we identify it in others, and comparing the authentic leadership of figures like Kamala Harris, Tim Waltz, Prince Harry, and Meghan Markle, with the less genuine approaches seen in figures like Trump, J.D. Vance, and even members of the royal family, such as Prince William and Kate. The word authenticity derives from the Greek word authenticus, meaning original or genuine. In ancient Greece, authenticity was tied to the idea of being true to oneself, an idea central to the philosophies of Socrates and Plato. This concept evolved over centuries, becoming a cornerstone in discussions about morality, leadership, and personal integrity. In modern times, authenticity has become a buzzword, particularly in politics, entertainment, and social media. It represents a quality of being real, transparent, and consistent. Being the same person in private as you are in public. But how can we tell if someone is truly authentic? The answer often lies in their actions, their ability to connect with others, and the consistency of their words and deeds. The Democratic ticket of Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz for the 2024 U.S. presidential election has captured the nation's attention with its message of joy, hope, and straight-talking authenticity. While the campaign has gained momentum quickly, packing stadiums and, and requiring larger venues, the authenticity of Harris and Waltz is a major factor driving this surge in support. Kamala Harris, known for her infectious laugh, which she attributes to her South Asian mother, embodies this kind of authenticity that resonates with people. She, she, she recently explained that her laugh comes from a place of deep cultural and familiar connection, something that critics have tried to weaponize against her. But rather than shying away 
Harris embraces her roots, making her more relatable and genuine to the electorate. Tim Walsh, her running mate, complements this authenticity with his own straightforward style. A former high school teacher, football coach, and veteran, Walt's background reflects the values of hard work and dedication. His record as Minnesota's governor, where he focused on reproductive, um, reproductive health, paid leave, and gun safety, aligns perfectly with Harris's vision for the country. Together, their authenticity shines through in their policies and their personal stories, creating a powerful connection with voters. As Political noted, Harris was drawn to Waltz not just for his governing record, but because of his biography and ability to win tough races. The two have developed a strong rapport one that is evident in their public appearances and interviews. Their authenticity is not just a campaign strategy, it's, it's who they are. And it's winning over a growing number of Americans who are tired of the divisive, fear-based rhetoric coming from the other side, the Trump campaign. Now, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have also become symbols of authenticity. In a world often dominated by superficiality, their decision to step back from royal duties and focus on issues close to their hearts, such as mental health, social justice, and support the vulnerable communities, has, so has solidified their reputation as genuine and compassionate leaders. The couple's recent launch of the Parent Network, an initiative aimed at helping parents navigate the challenges of raising children in the digital age is a testament to their authentic commitment to making a difference. The network provides a platform for parents to share experiences, find support, and channel pain into purpose. This hands-on approach contrasts sharply with the more traditional ceremonial role often seen in the British royal family. Prince William and Kate Middleton, for example, while popular, have been criticized for lacking the same level of authenticity. A telling example occurred during a visit uh, to a center for Ukrainian refugees, where Prince William was overheard remarking, the most we can do is a smile and, 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 and wave here and there in not so many words. While this statement may have been intended to be humble, it inadvertently highlighted the, 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 the superficial nature of their public roles compared to the more engaged and impactful work of Harry and Meghan. The kindest people you've ever come across are not born that way. They're created. These are the souls who have suffered so much through the hands of life. They had to turn every loss into a lesson. They had to dig themselves out of the darkness that they didn't even want to be in in the first place. They had to go through things that shaped them into the person they are today. They chose goodness when it was more convenient for them to be evil. They chose to be part of Team Light when it was more convenient to pick Team Darkness. These are the types of people that possess such compassion and empathy that make this world what it is today on the positive side for the most part. They deserve the recognition, the appreciation. On the other side of, of the spectrum, Donald Trump and J.D. Vance represent a stark 
contrast to the authenticity seen in the Harris Walls campaign and the Sussexes. Trump's campaign has been marked by exaggerated claims and divisive rhetoric. From falsely claiming his crowd size surpassed those of Martin Luther King Jr. to dismissing the value of people without children, Trump's approach is characterized by inauthenticity and manipulation. His running mate, J.D. Vance, too, has leaned into fear-based messaging, making statements that alienate rather than unite. It's common that people without children have no value and are not loyal to the country reflects a lack of genuine connection with the broader American public. These messages, while they may resonate with a certain base, lack the authenticity needed to build a lasting and inclusive movement. In other words, what J.D. Vance is saying, that a, a single person or a person who might be married with no children serving in the military, defending the nation, has no true value. Now, I would question that. Similarly, Prince William and Kate Middleton, while fulfilling their royal duties with, one would say, with grace, often come across as distant and disconnected. Their public appearances, though polished, lack the depth and emotional resonance that define the work of Harry and Meghan. The Sussexes, by contrast, are seen as authentic because they are willing to share their vulnerabilities, speak out on difficult issues, and take concrete actions to support their beliefs. Authenticity is more than just a buzzword. It's a vital quality that shapes how we perceive and connect with public figures. Whether in politics or public life, authenticity involves being true to oneself, consistent in words and actions, and genuinely connected with others. Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz, along with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, exemplify this authenticity through their relatable stories, empathetic leadership, and meaningful work. In contrast, the superficiality and inauthenticity seen in the Trump fans campaign and the more ceremonial roles of Prince William and Kate Middleton highlight the stark differences in how authenticity can make or break public perception. As voters, citizens, and global audiences, we are drawn to leaders who are real, who show us their true selves, and who work tirelessly to make a positive impact. In an age where trust is hard to come by, authenticity is not just desirable, it's essential. to be back. It is good to be back. Thank you. Thank but seriously, isn't Tim Waltz fantastic? And I know for some folks, you're just getting to know him and you've heard he's had many titles over his life. Governor, congressman, dad, husband, coach. But in 87 days, our nation is going to know Coach Walls as Vice President of the United States of America. 